Hello everyone, this is Deborah. I haven't been on YouTube for a little while. I've been spending time with the Lord and He's been giving me messages, but they're personal in nature and He's just working on me, preparing me, getting me ready for His, his appearing and stuff. I don't know, I've shared with you guys before, it's kind of difficult for me to come on YouTube and share things that I believe the Lord has been saying to me. You know, quite a few years ago now, it's been probably 10 years, I was given a prophetic word from a man, and he said to me, people don't understand you. You don't even understand yourself, but you have been, uh, you are an early warning device. So I didn't understand what he really was talking about at that time, but I do know now. But I can tell you that I am not comfortable in this position and I question myself, and I question the Lord, and um, I'm constantly looking for confirmations, and the Lord has been faithful to give me confirmations, especially after I deleted some of my um, videos early on, and um, he was, he was um, gracious enough to forgive me and to make a way for me to put them back up on YouTube. So, but I still, I have difficulty with the timing of things. And, you know, the Lord has shown me in the Old Testament when Zechariah or Jeremiah or Isaiah or any of those, and I'm not comparing myself to them, but when they would give messages from the Lord, it took quite a while for those words to come to pass. So I'm just um, letting you know that we need to be aware that God's timing is not our timing. And, but that's what messes me up sometimes because some of the words I get, you know, I think, um, I guess in my understanding or my expectations, when it doesn't look like I think it should, then it messes me up. And that's where uh, I fail the Lord. And I did a video about that and the Lord had given me a song, Carry On My Wayward Son, um, There'll Be Peace When You Are Done. And what he was showing me was that I will overcome, I will be able to overcome the fears and the doubts of my own soul. It's not that I was in deliberate disobedience, but I struggle with, um, you know, just fear and doubt. I don't want to deceive anyone. So anyway, I woke up on January 2nd singing a song, and I only knew a few of the words and when this happens, I always know it's the Lord because I I wouldn't have thought of this song. It was a song that was that I had heard when I was a little girl. I didn't even really know the the context of it or anything. So I had to look it up. And what I found out was pretty interesting and pretty neat. Um, just God is so good to me. Um, this song was sung by a man named Gene Kelly in a movie. I don't even know what the name of the movie was, but he sang the song to a girl, an actress named Debbie Reynolds. And the Lord has shown me over time that when he gives me a song, that even the meaning of the singer's name has significance to the message. So after I read, the, after I looked on YouTube to find the lyrics of this song, I was able to also find the meanings of Gene Reynolds' name and Debbie, or I mean Gene Kelly's name and Debbie Reynolds' name. And here are the lyrics. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, and I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase every one from the place. Come on with the rain. I have a smile on my face. I'll walk down the lane with a happy refrain, just singing, singing in the rain, dancing in the rain. I'm singing and dancing in the rain. And when I looked up the name, the meaning of Gene, it means well-born nobility. And his last name, Kelly, means warrior or fighter. So to me, that spoke of Jesus Christ because he is definitely well born and he's nobility he's the king of kings and lord of lords and he's coming back as a warrior to destroy the work of the enemy 
and he was singing the song to Debbie Reynolds, and my mother had told me when I was younger that she had named me after Debbie Reynolds, so I knew that the Lord was singing to me. And Reynolds means powerful ruler, counsel, rule, brave counselor. And I already knew the name of Deborah, which means be. And Father had told me that he that I was named Deborah for a reason. And he also let me know it was because she was a judge. And she ruled during the time of judges. So what he was doing in this song was encouraging me that I had not disqualified myself. And that's one of my biggest fears is that I'm going to mess up. And that he was singing this song to me. And that I would be, that I would rule and reign with him, just as those of us who follow him and are obedient to the best of our ability with the help of the Holy Spirit. When he comes to rule on the earth, we will rule with him. And so that was the message to me. And the Lord gave me one more confirmation. A couple days later, I went to Heather Lee Castro's channel, and a lot of the things she receives from the Lord is confirmation for me. And surprisingly, she had just had a, made a video a few days earlier of a vision she had. And in the vision, she saw a large gray umbrella in the sky. And Jesus came out from under the umbrella. And he was riding on a white horse. And there were storm clouds all around. And um, there was a rainbow. I don't know if he was, I don't know how the rainbow tied in. But anyway, there was a rainbow. And we know that the rainbow was a promise of God that he would not ever destroy the earth with water, with a flood again. So all these things tied together, and it was very, very comforting for me, and it was an encouragement, and I hope it encourages you. I also believe that the storm and the rain has a part to do with um, verses in Joel chapter 2 about the former and latter rain. And he has told me before, that when the storms come, we will be protected. And those of us who have been chosen and have followed him uh, faithfully will be transformed and used during the storms to help those that were not ready. And we will bring in this harvest. So in verse 23, it starts by saying, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. So when these storms come, his people that are called by his name will not have to be ashamed, and they will not be afraid. And in fact, they can even rejoice because they know that their Lord is, is here. So I want to encourage you guys and... Um, just remind you that the Lord is speaking in many, many ways. And if you haven't recognized his voice yet, just keep pressing in and quiet yourselves. There's a lot of distractions out there. And I know for the Lord with me, he has taken me out of my job and taken me away from all kinds of uh, distractions. And uh, I spend most of my days with him seeking his face. And he does... Uh, Reward those who diligently seek him. So I love you guys, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.